In a few weeks, it is 2019, and I bet that so many of you are trying to set new goals, improve your life, and change your life. Now, I'm actually going to be doing a brand new series on how to reinvent yourself, which I think I started but kind of flaked on. But this video is the very first step, the starting point of all achievement. Now, I bet you think I'm going to talk about setting goals or having some kind of vision of the future, but I'm not. Now, in this video, let's talk about what I truly believe to be the very first step on the road to reinventing yourself. You excited? What's up, guys? Alex Hine, author of the book, Master of the Day. Now, don't forget, if you're trying to work on having a better life this year, I've included that free goal-setting cheat sheet. I've actually just had it redesigned, so it looks really pretty and really professional. So you can grab that. It's the first link right there in the description box. You'll also get a daily, I think daily or weekly email course on goal-setting and goal achievement. So click that link, get your email in there, sign up, and we'll get back to the video. When it comes to the starting point of all achievement, it begins with a very simple but subtle belief. You know, now having coached hundreds of people and answered tens of thousands of emails or messages that are roughly the same, what I see is one thing, and it's that people end up quitting before they ever really start. They say it's so difficult and they really haven't done anything yet. Now, my story may help you realize what I've had to go through to get to where I am, and the subtle mindset shift, I want you to let me know if you spot it, because this is the real secret of the secrets. So when I started my first business, Modern Health Monk was the first business I started that actually worked in my life, okay? I started it in, I think, 2013 or 2014. For three years, I was just a blogger. So I was writing daily content on weight loss, on fitness, on habits, on things like that. And then eventually what happened was, after two years, I was getting sick and tired of doing the same thing. I was getting sick and tired of writing the same fitness articles, sick and tired of the daily routine looking the exact same. So what I ended up doing was I started experimenting just with one hour per day. And the next idea that I had was, let me start creating online courses. So online courses, they were thrilling and interesting and new and growth oriented for a while, but eventually that got old too. The next thing from there was writing my first book, Master of the Day. That occupied a whole chunk of my time, that hour a day for whatever, six months or a year. And then after that, I wrote a few more books because that was really exciting and then after that, I was looking again for something new. That something new was YouTube. I just uploaded a few videos. I was having a lot of fun. They were getting good feedback. And now YouTube has blown up for me. And now this has been so much fun and has opened all these new doors for everything, for community, for connection, new opportunities, doors that I never knew would be opened. Now after YouTube, new things have yet again begun. Now, in my personal life, I entered a doctorate in Chinese medicine and realized this is my real passion. This is what I love, in addition to YouTube and creating content and writing books. So you see this brick after brick after brick after brick after brick after brick. It's just like following this ladder progression of all these things that I never would have been able to predict. But here's the thing. If I was down here, Alex, five years ago, and I was like, how am I ever going to reach my goal of becoming, you know... A doctor with a big YouTube channel and all these books, I would have never begun. So because I never could have predicted every single little brick, I took this step and that opened this new door. I opened this door, the YouTube door, and now that opened all these other doors. If I never started on the first brick, the first step of the staircase, I never would have been able to see the 10th step, which is where I am now. And now each year, new doors, new bricks, are stacked and new doors are open that I never would have known are the new most exciting thing, many of which have improved my business quite a lot. And so the first step that I see as being the essence of all goal achievement is the ability to step and commit 100% to where you are right now, whatever that project is, before you see the whole staircase. There's a whole chapter in my book, Milk the Pigeon, on this. It's like when you're coming home drunk from the bar and you've got your flashlight, you're trying to find the steps in front of your apartment. You're like, ah, where's the step? You can't see the other steps because it's the dark and you're hammered, right? But you use your iPhone flashlight, you see the first step. You get on that first step and then you can find the second step. And then you can find the third step. But you can't see the second step 
until you're actually on the first step of your staircase. And so many people don't step because they can't see the first or the second step. So whatever it is you're trying to work on, take that first step, commit 100%, even though you know you may be in the dark and you're not sure how you're going to get there, what's going to lead to what, how you're going to arrive. Don't focus on the how for right now. Focus on what you know to be true right in front of you. Ask that person out. Begin writing your novel or your, start in your journal. Upload that first YouTube video. Take that first step towards the thing you've always wanted to do. And that will then open new doors that you can't see right now. Alex for president. All right, guys. So I hope that helps. That is the very first video and I think the most important because having coached a lot of people, I see a lot of people that fail to act because they can't see the whole staircase. And that's just not how it works in any successful person. So don't forget, I've also included that free goal setting worksheet. You can plan out your year. I just had it redesigned. It looks pretty and fresh. And also you're going to get a weekly email series on goal achievement and how I reinvented myself. So check that out. The first link in the description box there below.